So as much as I love the original Spider-Man films and would love to see the return of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man to some capacity, one crazy theory that I've seen making its way across the web is that the upcoming Morbius film will be connected to the Raimi franchise and not just because of the murderer poster spotted in the trailers. And while this theory may have some weight to it, overall I just don't believe it and I'd say it's more of people wanting this to happen instead of looking at the facts to why it'd make more sense for this film to be connected to the MCU and let's talk about this theory. Now I've seen this posted all over with a few people leaving comments on my last video I did about this film regarding this theory and what the theory goes over is that after the events of Spider-Man 3, Peter is either blamed for the death of Harry Osborn or Eddie Brock and is framed as a murderer by the public most likely through the Daily Bugle which J. Jonah Jameson happens to be in this upcoming film. Second is a headline from 2009 that's been shared along with this theory that Sam Raimi quote unquote wanted Morbius in Spider-Man 4 which if people actually read this article article, all it has is a quote from Raimi stating, I like it in the Marvel comics when Spider-Man fights Morbius, said Raimi. He's really cool, a vampire. I like that combination of superhero plus supernatural. Now to me that doesn't sound anything like him saying that he wants Morbius in the film. In fact, with what we know about Spider-Man 4, we know the villains would have been the Vulture, Felicia Hardy, and potentially the Lizard. So part of this theory is supposed to be backed off the fact that Raimi said he likes Morbius 10 years ago, which apparently means Sony is going to continue connect this film to his just because he likes the villain. Well, he also liked the Vulture in Spider-Man 3, but look what happened with that. But I will say though that I think Sam Raimi would have done a good job at directing the character of Morbius due to his horror background and the way he's handled sympathetic characters in the past. But if you think this theory isn't crazy enough just due to Sam Raimi saying that he likes Morbius, the next part of the theory gets even better, which is Michael Keaton isn't playing the MCU Vulture, but he's playing the Vulture from the Raimi universe. Now this is where the theory completely loses me at because it would be so confusing to the audience to have the same actor play the same character but of a different franchise. With Jameson it's different, it's J.K. Simmons role you're not going to recast J. Jonah Jameson. And the MCU version did a good job at differentiating him enough from the Raimi films, but in this trailer and what we saw at the end of Homecoming, Michael Keaton looks exactly the same, even down to the outfit almost being identical. One of the reasons why Spider-Verse didn't include any of the live action Spider-Man was because the filmmakers thought it would be too confusing to the audience, but now you're telling me the same actor plays the same villain looking exactly the same but from a different universe. This would honestly be beyond confusing and off topic relating to this film being connected to the Raimi films, people are saying Michael Keaton might actually be playing a character that isn't the vulture in this film, and that's probably worse than him playing two identical vultures from different franchises. So while this theory might have some ground to it due to Spider-Man possibly being blamed for the death of Harry Osborne or Eddie Brock, I personally don't believe this to be true or that the franchise will be connected to Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. If we were ever to see the return of the franchise, I don't see it happening through a film which Sam Raimi or any of the original cast has no involvement in. As much as I would love to see the return of Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man, I think a lot of people are reading too much into this Raimi suit art shown in the trailer and are just going with believing this franchise isn't going to be connected to the MCU because they don't like the MCU Spider-Man. I much prefer the original films over the MCU films, but in the context of this poster and the fact that Michael Keaton shows up at the end of the trailer looking exactly the same, there's no reason to believe why this film isn't going to be connected to the MCU other than people liking one film series over another. So let me know what you guys think of this crazy theory. Do you believe this franchise will be connected to the Raimi films, or do you agree that it won't be? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, follow my social medias, and I will see you guys again in my next video.